Here's the posse. Welcome to another episode of the Relic Posse. We're back in the fields we've been digging at. Um, it's a brand new field for us, though. We haven't been in this one yet. Uh, Bill's done a little research. We've been looking for the elusive post office. We think maybe this might be the field that it was in. Bill? Yeah, it could be. I uh, think we were down the road a little bit too far the first time, and uh, it looks like it was, uh, you know, maybe down here. This would be the back of it. So, uh, you know, we don't know if there's going to be anything. Yeah, so, and unfortunately, if we're right, we think the post office was actually on the other side of these trees. There's houses there now, so we don't have access to that. But this would have been right behind the post office, right behind uh, the tavern, if that was there too. So we're hoping that maybe some people wandered back this way. Maybe we'll find some good things. Um, maybe the outhouse was back there. They had the outhouse, yep. Ran with their pants down. That could be. So wish us luck and mount up. It's time to take another ride with the posse and hit that subscribe button. Okay, this is the third hole I've dug. The first two were total garbage. This one's probably garbage too, but it's uh, kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what it is. It's got a patent number. It says something on the top. NOAC or something like that. Can't really make it out. Patent number with a long list of digits, no date, but it's got a neat patina. Looks like it might have had a key that's stuck in there. Definitely doesn't move now, but kind of cool. So yeah, not exactly sure what it is, but still interesting looking. Hopefully the next thing will be a little more recognizable. Well, in last week's episode, Mike found a golf ball right over there. And I found the other part of the game right over here. It's missing the handle, but I guess you could still swing that. Well, this one wasn't a great signal. It was kind of what I was expecting. It turned out to be a long iron bar, but the reason I dug it was because right here I'm noticing, and I dug this up too, there are several bricks like this one spread around. So something was around here. So I think I'm going to circle the area and we'll see what we might find. Uh, hopefully there'll be some goodies as well as the trash. Yeah, you're digging pretty deep. I was just up on the hill there and musket ball. Nice old patina. That's something. Anybody go this way at all? Uh, I don't know how far Bill went. He's coming back this way now. But um, He's not detecting though. No, he made it at least this far. But yeah, right up on the hill a musket ball. Nice old patina. That's something anyway. Yep. Nice old patina on that musket ball. Always like digging those. Found one last week when we were here. A little smaller. Last one was a little larger. This one's a little smaller than that one, but another musket ball for my collection. So yeah, whatever that is, Chris is still digging. Um, I circled around where the bricks were earlier. They were over there and didn't find anything. A um, lot of garbage, a lot of can slaw here. Uh, this musket ball was the first good signal I've dug. I don't know how much longer we've got. Bill's already ready to move on and I think Chris and I will be shortly unless we start hitting into things. Doesn't look like Chris got anything there. All right, let's see what we find next. And right after the musket ball, I found this little fella. So if nothing else, there were definitely hunters out here. Another old bullet, a lot of nice white patina. Nothing too special, but I always like finding them. Wish me luck on the next one. Well, I finally dug my first coin of the day. Just a weedy, 1939. So it's older, but it's not old, old. Back, my dad was born in 1939, and he's not old, so hopefully we find the uh, 1800s coins soon. At first glance, that looked pretty awesome, but at second glance, it looks like it has a, a stud in the middle. Might be a button. Thought it was a nice piece of silver at first, but... 
Oh, definitely not a button either. I don't know. Can I call it our washer of the day? With a stud in it? Yeah, it actually looks like a nut and bolt. Oh, well. Looked like big silver at first, but I guess not. Well, still no coins so far, but a boatload of relics, and I guess we are the relic posse, not the coin posse, so I shouldn't complain. Uh, found this hook, not sure exactly what it is. It's a little small for a hay hook, um, some kind of farming implement. If you know exactly what it is, put it in the comments below. Either way, kind of cool. Still searching for that first coin, though. This is probably just a pipe fitting. Has threads inside. I'm not sure. I have never found an ox knob. I know they look kind of like this, but might be a little small and thin. I don't know if anybody can tell me if it is or not. Please do so. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably just some kind of uh, pipe fitting or something. I don't know. I don't know. If it's an axe knob, then I'm going to be excited because it's my first one, but I really don't think it is. Can't even tell what it's made out of. Maybe lead. Oh, well. well. The odds of this being anything good are slim, but it was ringing up like silver, so I thought I'd do a live dig. Let's see what we find. nice thing about being out in the field you don't have to worry as perfectly about the plug as long as you fill it all in when you're done and well it is a coin anyway it's not silver it is a 1998 quarter but it's my first coin of the day can't complain Well, this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can read it or not. Looks like it says agriculture and market, maybe a dog tag, probably a rabies tag from 1965. It says at the bottom, 1965. That's tag number 4570. So dog from 1965 that wore 4570. Here is your tag if you'd like to come and collect it. If not, it's going in my pouch. Well, it's been a while since I found one of these, but just found a bale seal. I always like finding bale seals. Not as nice condition as some of the ones I found, but not bad. Looks like it says ACC on one side and AC possibly the same on the other. Either way, always enjoy finding bale seals. There we go. Neat little piece of history. You can see the ACC pretty clearly on that side. And on that side, almost clearly you can see the AC anyway, and there's a little bit more that I can't make out, but very cool. Wish me luck on the next hole. Well, this is an old copper rivet. Looks like it has a G on it or something. And it appears to have possibly leather in between the, the rivets. Not sure what it would go to. A lot of times you find them for uh, old saddles or whatnot with the leather still on them, but I don't know if this looks quite that old. But it does appear to be made out of copper. Don't know. We'll see if I can clean it off later and figure it out. On our way back to the car, and Chris has one last signal. Says it kind of sounds like a silver dime. We haven't found any silver yet. Most of what we found has been slaw when we thought it was silver. It's going to be a silver Budweiser. It's not far from where I found that quarter. But uh, the clad quarter I found earlier, but that was right near the surface. He's going deeper.
Budweiser. Yeah. And we're finishing the day like it started and like most of it was. Another beer can. And the funny thing is, it is a Budweiser. Yeah, not the first, and I'm sure it's not the last we'll ever find, but it's the last for today. It's my first Budweiser of the day, though. Well, another hunt is in the books, and another beer is about to go down the throats. Tonight we're going to toast with Community Beer Works Good Neighbor American IPA. And it says it's a... Uh, that's the government born. Where were you we reading? <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful juicy, juicy and hazy, hazy IPA, IPA with prominent notes of tropical citrus and Bill's favorite, pineapple, atop a soft malt base. Wait, yeah. got to finish. Oh. It's easy drinking pleasure. Good neighbors share good beer. Yeah. I'm a little skeptical with the citrus and pineapple myself, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm not a pineapple fan. I like yeah. citrus in my beer, though. It, it's a little scary. And it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, it's freaking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> I'm in between, so... Maybe for fruit juice, but for a beer. Should we put honesty on the video? Well, why not? It, if not, somebody likes fruit juice, <laughs> it's not bad. And if you like pineapple. If you like beer, eh. I don't taste fruit juice or beer. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I taste. <laughs> God only knows what it is. Yeah. Monkey piss. Good neighbor. Monkey piss. <laughs> Take off, eh? In the video. <laughs>